Hey, you welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy, as well as the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into it. Stocks have started off the week quite strong, considering that Chipotle and Progressive have hit new all-time highs. On top of that, Tesla's TSLA shares got a boost by around 6.25% to where now they trade at around $173.80 per share. The reason behind this boost for Tesla's share price is because they recently increased the price of their electric vehicle named the Model Y in both the United States as well as over in Europe. In general, this is very good news for the general stock market as well as Tesla specifically, which means that if you are an investor into Tesla, then this is going to reflect very positively on your investment. But now let's move on and talk about an artificial intelligence company named NVIDIA. If you've been following along with our stock market news updates, you should know that NVIDIA underwent a recent catalyst. If you didn't know, NVIDIA recently unveiled Blackwell, which is NVIDIA's new more powerful graphics processor chip. And the company says that it is significantly faster than the chips that support most of artificial intelligence models out there right now. Therefore, this should act as a very positive catalyst for NVIDIA and their share price. So we're going to talk more about NVIDIA a little later in the video, but right now, let's talk about Amazon. Amazon, ticker symbol AMZN, is a gigantic e-commerce company, and they also have their fingers in a lot of other segments, and I personally hold Amazon in my portfolio. The reason why Amazon is in the news is because their streaming service, known as Amazon Prime Video, has been struggling. However, Amazon has a master plan to hopefully attract new viewers, and they are doing this by hiring a YouTuber named Mr. Beast. If you are not familiar with Mr. Beast and his videos, he is a 25-year-old stunt philanthropist behind viral videos such as Survive 100 Days Trapped and Win $500,000 or 1,000 Blind People See for the First Time. This YouTuber named Mr. Beast recently signed a contract with Amazon to host and executive produce a show on Video Prime called Beast Games. Overall, this should reflect very positively in the amount of streams and viewers that Amazon will receive from this particular show and series, and this should impact their share price positively. Therefore, once more details are released, this will act as a positive catalyst for Amazon's share price, so please pay attention to that. Next up, let's talk about electric vehicle news, considering that a load of companies, specifically electric vehicle companies, are having a huge problem with demand right now. Essentially, buyers are just not willing to buy expensive electric vehicles. However, there is a solution, and that solution comes in the form of hybrid electric vehicles. Hybrid vehicles use both some type of fuel, such as gasoline, as well as an electric motor. Back when I started this channel, I actually made a video about hybrid electric vehicles, and I predicted that the future of vehicles and automotives in general will be a mix between electric vehicles and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. In that video, I explained how these types of technologies are going to be combined for a very good hybrid vehicle which uses both hydrogen fuel cell as well as electricity. Ford and Toyota actually hedged their EV investments because they had a fallback plan which would be hybrid electric vehicles. And it seems that by Ford hedging their investments that this has actually worked out for them considering that Ford's hybrid sales jumped by 32% last month. And the demand just seems to be growing for hybrid electric vehicles, which is why Ford forecasts that their sales will quadruple over the next five years in this particular segment. On top of that, Toyota, which is way ahead of the game in regards to hydrogen vehicles, believes that the future will be hydrogen vehicles, which is why they are heavily investing into this particular segment. However, other automakers, such as General Motors and Volkswagen, have not been so lucky, because they actually said goodbye to hybrids and they really wanted to focus on electric vehicles. However, we are seeing GM backpedal because now they plan to introduce plug-in hybrids, and ultimately, this is a good move. But what does this mean for investors? Well, it means two main things. First, it means that these legacy automakers will receive a dip in their share price until hybrid electric vehicles or hybrid vehicles start to take the main stage. The second thing that investors need to know is that electric vehicle companies are going to dip even more because they don't even have hybrid vehicles. They are literally fully electric vehicles 
tools, and the demand is downtrending for that. But it also means one other thing that you need to be paying attention to. Hybrid vehicles are actually cheaper to make, and therefore they can sell for a cheaper price point, which should satisfy demand. As an example, hybrids cost on average $42,500. And when we compare this to the average new gas vehicle, which costs around $47,500, or a new EV, which costs $60,500, clearly hybrids are the cheaper option. Therefore, consumers are going to win because these are cheaper, and these legacy automakers are also going to win because demand is going to return to all-time highs once again. So please keep an eye on this development as it progresses over the next five years. But that's not all we have for quick news updates, because we also see Novo Nordisk is back in the news. For context, Novo Nordisk is a pharmaceutical company, and they are very popular because of their weight loss pharmaceutical named Wagovi. I personally hold Novo Nordisk in my portfolio, and we just got great news, because this company's weight loss pharmaceutical was recently approved for heart health in the United States. Therefore, this is acting as a positive catalyst, which is lifting the share price of this company. But that's not all, because now we're going to talk about Uber. For context, Uber owns a platform which operates a taxi service. However, they recently got hit with a large fine. Essentially, this fine was due to Uber losing a lawsuit, to where now they will have to pay $178 million to settle this lawsuit. Essentially, Uber was sued because the app operated illegally in Australia, which hurt cabbies' earnings over in that region. And right now, over in the United States, Uber has now started listing taxis in their app. This is a pretty big blow to Uber, and we could definitely feel the reverberations from this in their share price. But overall, Uber still seems like a pretty good company, which I personally hold in my portfolio. But now let's talk about the best stocks to buy in regards to individual stock analysis, starting off with none other than NVIDIA, which is a phenomenal artificial intelligence AI stock. NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA, recently underwent a huge catalyst in regards to their event. And at this event, their chief executive said that the company will win a larger share of the roughly $250 billion market for data centers. Basically, the CEO said that NVIDIA will win a larger portion of this market than their competition, which would include AMD and Intel. On top of that, NVIDIA is working with Taiwan Semiconductor on the new Blackwell GPU platform, which we mentioned earlier. So overall, these are very positive catalysts for NVIDIA. But I also want to talk more about Chipotle, because yes, even though they hit an all-time high, we have even better news, considering that Chipotle's board recently approved a 50-for-1 stock split. So let's talk about it. For context, Chipotle is a Mexican grill restaurant chain, and they recently approved a 50 for 1 stock split for their common stock, and this has actually sent their shares higher by around 7%. Now, you should know that this stock split is not official as of right now, because it's going to be subject to shareholder approval at their upcoming annual meeting on June 6th. However, once it is fully approved by shareholders, if you own any Chipotle stock on or before June 18th, you will get an additional 49 shares of this stock. Now, you need to remember this about stock splits, is that this will not increase the amount of value that you hold within the company. Rather, it's going to divide the value into individual stocks. So, right now, Chipotle trades at around $2,797 per share, and then, once this stock split goes through, that number is going to be divided by 49 or 50. So, your total value held within this company will not change. So, please remember that. However, normally, these stock splits act as positive catalysts for the share price even though fundamentally the company is the same. Shares will actually start to begin trading on a post-split basis after the market opens on June 26th. And as of right now, Chipotle has been a phenomenal company to hold. This company has literally gained more than 70% over the last 12 months, making this one of the best companies to buy on the general stock market. I personally have been holding Chipotle for quite a while, and I've loved my investment in this company ever since, so I would highly recommend you do your own research on this company to determine if it is good for your personal portfolio. Next up, let's talk about Altria, which is a pretty good dividend company. However, I personally do not own this company in my portfolio. This is essentially a tobacco company, and they trade under the ticker symbol of MO, and recently, the company entered into an accelerated share repurchasing transaction. Apparently, the company is set to repurchase $2.4 billion worth of its stock, which is great news for investors. Overall, I think this company has a great dividend, but fundamentally, I think there are better stocks on the stock market right now, but I'd love to hear your thoughts down below about Altria and this very good news update for this company. Next up, let's talk about AMD and why their share price has been falling recently. Advanced Micro Devices, also known as AMD, recently slipped in their 
share price by around a 4.8%. However, despite this small blip, I actually own AMD in my personal portfolio because the company's share price is still up by around 23% across 2024. On top of that, the company's increased in their share price by around 85% over the last year, making this a phenomenal investment. However, there is a slight problem here. Despite AMD increasing their sales by roughly 10% year over year, their midpoint guidance actually says that the company's sales will be flat for the first quarter. That's why I'm going to encourage you to do your own research on this company to determine if it's right for you. Next up, let's talk about JP Morgan Chase, and I personally own this company in my portfolio, but let's talk about why they're in the news. This is a very successful financial company, and JP Morgan Chase, ticker symbol JPM, recently declared a dividend of $1.15 per share on a quarterly basis. This would equate to a 9.5% increase in their dividend, which is very good, and this dividend is going to be payable on April 30th for shareholders of a record on April 5th with an ex-dividend date of April 4th. So I wanted to update you on that because this is very positive news for this company. Next up, let's talk about another artificial intelligence company named Super Microcomputer, ticker symbol SMCI. The reason why Super Microcomputer is back in the news is because they are guiding potential investors on a sale of 2 million shares to a price of $875. $75 each. At $875 per share, the company would raise as much as $1.75 billion, which is pretty good news for this company. However, you should be aware that this company could pull back in their share price because recently they have been climbing very fast, and normally when companies climb too fast, a pullback is imminent, so please watch out for that pullback, which could potentially be happening right now. Next up, you should know that Atosa recently jumped in their share price, ticker symbol ATOS. The reason why Atosa Therapeutics is in the news is because the company recently got very good results from a cancer patient who received its lead candidate, which is named Z endoexafin, and this patient remained cancer free for five years through this therapy. This 51 year old patient received continued treatments of Z endoexafin, and this apparently helped her tremendously. According to the CEO, he says that she remains cancer free today, and we are grateful to have been able to help her with a difficult treatment problem. End quote. Overall, this is great news for this company, so I think that the jump in their share price is warranted. But remember, always be sure to watch out for a pullback. Lastly, let's talk about more Boeing drama, and if you didn't know, I personally hold Boeing in my personal portfolio, but let's talk about what's cooking right now for this company. According to Bloomberg, Boeing might sell a piece of their defense business, which would be very catastrophic for their share price. However, Wall Street investors are very interested in this, because if they do decide to sell, this is going to give investors a great buying opportunity. If you didn't know, Boeing's defense business, which it calls Boeing Defense Space and Security, has generated around $25 billion in 2023 in regards to sales. However, they did post an operating loss of around $1.8 billion. However, even though they recently generated a loss from this business, in the past they were actually profitable for five years in a row, with an average of $2.3 billion per year in profits. And the news gets even better, considering that Wall Street expects their sales to jump to $25.6 billion for 2024, and they are also anticipated to bring in profits of $546 million for this particular segment. In my personal opinion, I don't think that Boeing should sell any part of their defense business, but if they do, I'm going to buy this company on a weakness. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this company down below. With that said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new, and if you want more videos just like this one, comment down below. With that being said, I'll see you in the next YT video.